Hey everybody, this is EJR914. I thought I'd throw a little small, short little video together of uh, what I've done to prep this month, uh, doing a response to uh, that guy on uh, straightprep.com. I think it's slash forum. Uh, we'll get you there. But uh, anyway, um, I'm on a very tight budget. I'm actually working at a liquor store for eight twenty-five an hour and we're somehow keeping this house and uh, my wife's working too so um, we're barely making it we have a little girl too so it's just more more stuff we gotta pay for but uh, anyway uh, we got a uh, bunch of you know uh, chunky Campbell's my favorite and uh, it's always great to look at the the expiration date on things we got uh, July 15th 2013 pretty much all these and I uh, bought bought those uh, all this week and uh, I rotate them out also got a $50 a Walmart car for my birthday uh, yesterday so uh, awesome man I was gonna go out and buy uh, Dead Island just because it looked pretty cool but uh, I'm afflicted. I uh, may want to go buy more ammo because I love to shoot so much. Um, and I uh, bought this ammo uh, this week. Um, I finally, I guess we don't see it a lot at Walmart because I just kind of happened to notice, but they do have Tull uh, ammo at Walmart. But one of the Walmarts nearby is actually uh, discontinuing them. So, uh, yeah, I'm probably going to. I could go back and buy all that they have with that 50 probably. Uh, I'm going to try it in the AR, see how it does. Uh, I got some American Eagle. I figure this will do plenty uh, plenty okay in the in the M4. Uh, and I know the Federal will, so I got uh, 200 value packs uh, this week with money I pretty much got for my birthday. Uh, you got 100 bucks here, 100 bucks there, 50 bucks there, so uh, that was awesome. I got uh, and that's probably gonna be Target ammo. I uh, got some condoms, fire and ice, baby, kinky. Uh, yep, gotta have the condoms uh, for W R O L. Uh, other things are gonna run out. Um, expiration date 2013 as well, uh, August. So uh, got a little time on those too uh, this week. Also uh, bought some Hornady uh, 308 from a fella. I believe they're the uh, soft point, soft tip, 150 grain, um, and uh, I'm going to be reloading those with the uh, with the uh, uh, with the reloader I'm getting from uh, Unbroken. So I already just sent the check in the, the mail today, some of that birthday money, and I'm going to uh, going to get into a reloading, which I've been meaning to do for a very long time anyway. Uh, I also have some uh, some five or some two two three two two four whatever you want to call it uh, that I've actually I actually gave it to uh, Wild Turkey or a Georgia Patriot uh, to reload and he's been away so he hadn't been able to reload any uh, so I'm probably gonna try to get those back from him once the reloader comes in I'm gonna uh, reload uh, some uh, you know two two three I guess uh, and some three oh eight. Uh, for my rifle um, I actually don't have any 40 yet but I'm going to be on the lookout for I have tons of 40 brass I also have tons of 223 brass I save all my brass um, and I have a few 308 brass as well um, so yeah that's kind of what I've done this month um, really in the past week maybe two weeks or something so uh, so yeah working on a shoestring budget and still doing a few preps here and there um, you know look at look at the expiration date on things make sure you got a few years two or three years uh, just rotate stock uh, you know kinda like the couponer people do just keep rotating stock gotta throw a shout out to uh, my favorite uh, organization besides straight prep uh, it's the gun saves lives button by georgiacarry.org uh, they've got awesome uh, they just have awesome uh, changes that they made with the laws, uh, basically undoing a lot of the restrictions that uh, 
that had been on the books for 130 years, like the public gathering law was awful, and carry into restaurants that serve alcohol now. Uh, you know, just all, all types of cool stuff, trusting the citizens to carry and be responsible for themselves and act responsibly with a firearm. Self-defense, uh, so that was a button. There's a button. And then uh, also uh, got me a Georgia Carry magnet, which I like because you. I used to have stickers. I still have plenty of stickers. Uh, you know, I love, love stickers and everything, but um, lately people's cars have been getting keyed, windows broken out, guns stolen um, by a guy I know, uh, David, just got his... His, uh, his gun stolen out of his car because he thinks he had a Georgia Carey sticker on the back. So, you know, you uh, get the magnet. So, if you're going to a shady area or a place you think might be sort of anti-gun, take it off your car. Uh, you know, stick it, in the, stick it in the trunk and nobody messes with it. No one knows you have a gun inside your car if you had to leave it because the place was off limits or uh, you just have an extra truck gun besides the one you carry in your, uh, on your person. So... You know, just cool stuff like that. Uh, just remember that I had bought this stuff uh, probably around less than a month ago, two or three weeks ago. Uh, our local self-defense store, uh, guns, I mean FFL, everything, uh, they're going out of business. Uh, they're probably already out of business now. Uh, well, they probably have another month, two months, but uh, maybe sooner. But anyway, they're going out of uh, business, so they're having like a 70% off sale, everything. Uh, but the guns and the guns were going for cost, so it was a huge savings there. But um, I must have bought me another gun, but didn't quite have the cash. But I uh, got all this stuff for like an incredible deal. I think it was 70% off. So I uh, got some Tetra gun grease. It's okay. I've used it before. Uh, I believe it's I believe it's the oil, the actual Tetra gun oil that just stinks to high heaven. But it seems to work pretty good. Um, I've never had a problem with it at all. Seems like a good product. Uh, got some copper solvent as well, some Tetra Gun copper solvent. Uh, got three uh, brushes. I use these for my pistol and my M4, and just about everything else. Uh, come in handy on the M4. Uh, also got two things of a uh, you know break free break free uh, CLP. Got to get that, and then uh, of course I had to buy some ammo. But, uh, but yeah, so I got, uh, so I got 40, uh, Smith & Wesson, I got four, uh, four boxes of it, uh, so I can do some more drills, save the brass, and then, uh, you know, do the reload. But yeah, we've got, uh, so we got the soup, uh, the 308, uh, rounds, I believe there's a hundred or hundred and something in there, uh, got 200 or 223, uh, got condoms, uh, got another probably 40. Uh, 223 there. Um, also the, you know, Georgia Carey stuff because I'm political. Got my political stuff in there too. And uh, I'm probably going to buy some more, some more ammo probably with this instead of spending on probably what I really want to do, which is uh, the uh, Dead Island game. But you know what? Prepping's all about sacrifice. So uh, I think I might try to make the smart move and buy some more ammo because I love shooting and it'll give me more brass to reload with later. So. I'm excited about that reloader coming, and uh, so that's what I've done to prep prep this uh, this this month uh, past few weeks. So uh, appreciate it, guys. Have a good one. Bye.